Yeah. It just seemed to you just seem to get the ball from nowhere after a, a bit of a mistake from Mr. Foster. What, yeah. what was going through your mind? And nothing really. It's just uh, it's the thing. I should have scored. Um, come back to me on my left, and then uh, it's a little bit of an angle, but I should have put it in. Uh, it's not, that's that's it really. Uh, normally normally put them away, but sort of happened quite quickly, and then you just get on with the game. But it would have been nice to go in two one, especially the way we played second half. I suppose you were surprised that you got the ball, were you? Uh, yeah, as a, well as a striker, you've always got to anticipate something like that happening, but it's, it was a bit of a surprise, but nonetheless, one that I should have taken. So, uh, disappointing for me, but um, proud of the lads, second half, how we bounced, how we uh, sort of rose to the challenge and, and uh, stood, up, stood up a bit. Is that one of those ones that's going to keep you up at night? Uh, no, not really. I'm not really like that. Um, just looking forward to the next game, really. So, um, just, uh, just like I say, happy with how the lads plays in the second half and disappointing to lose, but you know they're a good side and and we go on to the, the priority, which is the league. How frustrating was it? Because obviously it's so late in that first half. If you'd have put it away, it would have changed the complexion of the old you know, game goal just before half time changes everything, doesn't it? Yeah. Obviously, you don't know what's gonna um, happen second half if that goal goes in a bit. It probably would have given us a lift at half time, um, and then we had a couple of chances the second half, which we. Uh, which we were close on, and uh, it would have been nice, you know, going at the big bank trying to uh, trying to get the equaliser because we were we were putting a little bit of pressure on the pressure that we could, and uh, yeah, it would it would have been good on hindsight, but um, you know, move on. You, you've had experience of you know you wait a cup with Aberdeen, and obviously you have a bit of time at Bournemouth. You've been there as well. These big games. Obviously, not as often as when you were at those other clubs. What's it like to, to go up against Premier League defenders and a Premier League side? Yeah, it's good. You, you always want to test yourself, and, and you know you're intrigued to see uh, how good they are and uh, like what level they're at, and if like your normal game can can affect them. And uh, it, it's it's nice. It can give you a nice confidence boost to know that you know you can mix it with these guys. And uh, you, as, as you look up to them, because you watch them every week and. Uh, you're watching them on match of the day, and, uh, and and you respect them for for what they've done. So I've got nothing but respect for where they are, and it's nice. It is nice to share a picture with them, and uh, they're all they all seem like good lads. And um, it was uh, everyone done it in the right way, I think. How did you fare against them? Will you give us your assessment of how you feel you did. I did all right. I did all right. I was a bit sloppy sometimes in possession, but overall I think I did well. Um, so it's not an easy pitch to play on, and I think that their boys will will say that more than most. Uh, it's it's a bit of a it's sticky, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too, it's not too good, especially when the ball's coming into feet. But uh, no, I think I've done all right. The, the second, the first half wasn't us really. We, we we wish we came out like we did second half and played the way we did and, and forced ourselves to be brave on the ball and uh, just try and impose ourselves on the on the opposition because we felt like we didn't do that. And we were too far from and made maybe paid them too much respect early first half. So disappointed to get to, to concede those two goals um, in the manner that we did, especially. It being our throw in for the first goal, but second half teams us being brave on the ball and uh, you know trying to trying to go, go for that goal and uh, I don't think we uh, disgrace ourselves in the slightest. Does this give you, does this give you guys a boost going into some pretty difficult or on paper difficult league games coming up at the top end of the league too? Um, not particularly because the loss is a loss. You can't really take too much. The performance second half was was like, was good, good so. The games coming up now probably define our season coming up the next month. So we've got to find some character in the squad and and some confidence within. That's what we spoke about at half time, end of the game. We've got to you know find it within ourselves to to really um, to go out these next few fixtures because they're big ones and uh, we want to be up there. Especially when our game in hand comes into play as well. We want to be we want to be in that top three and uh, and be able to util utilize it properly. So uh, we're confident with confidence we ever have been, and it's nice to. Uh, Nice to go into these pictures with something to play for. You'd rather be at this end of the table than the other. How's the nose? Did it affect you at all? Uh, it was only Monday you did it, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, it, it does affect me. It's in your head. It is broken, but it's, I could have put, wear that mask, but I think that would have put me off a bit more. Um, I think I think it will settle once. I mean, I might get the operation done at the end of the season or if I get uh, or at the end of the career, because I imagine I'll get a few more uh, coming up. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Jaden, obviously Ruben yesterday. I mean, as a striker, you know, does that give other strikers a chance to, you know, play up and alongside you and stuff like that? Yeah, it gives it gives a lot of people a chance. I mean, Rube's left. I mean, he might have felt like he wasn't playing much, um, and he's done some he's done it for himself. So, same similar situation with me when I was at Aberdeen. I've 
sacked him. You don't want to be somewhere where you're not playing. And uh, he's gone and, and he's made that decision. And it is time for some people to step up because we've got players in this squad who have got great capabilities and, and potential. Um, MJ's, you know, showing his uh, showing it. At the moment, he's getting a bit more confidence with every game, and uh, I think he just needs because he's got the quality there. We see, we've seen it every day in training. I saw it the last time I was here on loan, so it'd be nice for him to get a few more minutes. And you know, the club might bring in some more players yet, so there's always that possibility as well. So I think we go again in January. This is the time where you know reassess things, look at where we are. If we win our game in hand, we're in the top three again. I think it's this, this time to uh, you know see where we are and. And realise that we're in, a, we're in a battle for the top three, and automatic promotion really is is the goal, nothing nothing less. And I guess if, if Paul does bring these players in, then it gives you more competition as well. Doesn't it? Yeah, and that's what we want. You know, we've got to push ourselves. No one should be guaranteed to play. And, um, you see the, the the capabilities of all the squads. We've got a, we've got a big squad here and a lot of talent. So you see the people that we're bringing off the bench. So uh, it's nice to. Uh, it's nice to have that to to fall back on because you get a lot of games in this league. You play a lot of Tuesday night games and. It's, it's nice to, to be able to use the squad, so I mean, there's got to be competition for places now. Once you're in, you've got to get the shirt and, and uh, be desperate to play for the club.